So here we have the first version of the Cypher Box 1.0. And these are the parts that the whole kit will be coming with. So we have the four buttons, RFID module. Um, this should be the NeoPixel light, uh, but currently it's using something like this. Um, but the light doesn't really matter too much. Uh, the GPS module, right there. Of course, the ESP32. And for uh, this one, this uses the 32D. And then we have the SD card module, and then we have the screen. So this is what we started with. See tons of wires, um, <clears throat> a whole lot going on. So the whole point of making a PCB is so all the circuits are all attached. So working with um, an electrical engineer, we decided on just the first version, um, some things I want to do differently. I want to um, have a different ESP32, maybe a smaller one. Um, I might swap this out for just like a regular LED or a regular RGB LED for um, less power. Uh, might upgrade this RFID the buttons are good, but I might want um, switch buttons just because it looks cooler. Um, the micro SD, of course, is good. And we do have some other screens. Um, I would like to use a color screen if possible. And um, I might need to rewrite the code for the display. And the uh, GPS module, um, I think this is really good because it's like probably the smallest um, I could find. So let's piece it together. Okay, so I'll show you what it looks like all together. Yes, in got the screen. Ooh. This uh, SD card will actually be on the back so I'm gonna have it on the back like that so then uh, you don't have any opportunity to mess with it and you can kind of just uh, pull it out nice and easily then put the buttons in Okay, and uh, for the LED, um, kind of really annoyed. I ordered uh, the LED, but they sent me the wrong one. Um, so this one doesn't fit. And this is the WS2812B. This is the newer updated version. And um, <clears throat> What I'm going to do is, uh, just because this is just a prototype, I'm going to um, put in some uh, header pins and then test it out with just female to female connectors and uh, see if I could uh, power this. I'm pretty sure it's all straightforward. But here we go. And it's uh, meant to just be held in your hand. You know, you got your GPS, you can scan some RFD cards, you got your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities. Um, 
which can do various uh, cybersecurity and hacking related things. Uh, this will be your status light. And really this is super extra. Um, I don't really need a NeoPixel, but uh, I'm gonna get that in there. And uh, yeah. And it's meant to just go in your pocket. I'm gonna get a case, but. Yeah, so overall, um, really happy, really impressed with the quality of the um, PCBs from PCBWay. Um, as you can see, the copper tracings, really nice, um, really nice smooth finish. I got the two layer, so you can see what that looks like. Um, but great for prototyping. Uh, I hope to go to version 10. Um, and this is gonna hopefully get much smaller and smaller and uh, better. I gotta uh, talk to uh, my engineer a little bit more and uh, get some ideas on some better things. Like I wanna add, um, even though I don't have too many extra GPIO pins, just some like extra stuff or like maybe a debug section um, so you can add in some extra uh, inputs, kind of like the Flipper Zero. Um, but more or less, you know, speaking of the Flipper Zero, you know, um, with PCB Way, I was really able to design my own alternative. There's a few things like um, I do want to add IR infrared, um, but with the ESP32, the, the current library that most people use isn't working with the latest ESP32. Um, but I have um, infrared abilities, so you can like turn off TVs, turn on TVs, and um, there needs to be a better RFID card um, as well um, because the Flipper Zero has the NFC um, reader. Um, but rather than that, I honestly think this has some features, quite a few features that the Flipper Zero doesn't have. Um, and this is like, <clears throat> you know, the parts all together um, ideally should cost you about $10 if you bought them all individually. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go into um, some other things on the future videos. Um, like, of course, we still have to solder this on. And most importantly, um, the hardware is pretty cool, but I'm excited to show um, the actual software um, that I wrote for this. Um, I have it all individually working, but I'm currently packaging it all together uh, so I can open source it. And uh, my intention is that the community will improve and uh, make this um, way better than I can imagine. Um, so that would be in the next uh, coming videos. Um, but for now, I just wanted to show you guys the uh, finished project and how you can go from a sketch to a prototype um, to getting a nice uh, package with your first prototype ideas. Um, once again, uh, really like to thank um, just A, my uh, engineer from Fiverr, which I'll give his link. Um, and just, you know, every everyone along the way, especially PCB Way for being uh, really patient. Um, even some like last minute ideas of, um, you know, getting the uh, Cypherbox name on there. Um, they're really helpful with that. <clears throat> and I think I'm really gonna go with them too with other things because they do CNC milling and 3d printing so um if i just have some like prototype ideas for printing or i just need something really quick or you know i do have a 3d printer but there are some more complicated um designs that i probably wouldn't want to do um, or if i need like a hundred <laughs> you know a hundred cases um, they're the ones to go with um, so i'll catch you guys later and next we will be uh, assembling everything and then later getting to the software that runs the Cypherbox. Peace.